I don't know yeah. when it's going to be cold outside. Ain't nothing wrong with that. So knowing nature is becoming one with nature. You can understand nature. You know how to help nature. You know how to, you know what I'm saying? You know how to be one with nature. You know how to, um, you know how, you know how to help nature help you. And I think that's, 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 that's something that a lot of civilizations knew a long time ago, but it got fucked up somehow, man. It got fucked up somehow because it was, and it was done by force. Yeah, I think it was done by force, but, but you know, it's not, it's, 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 it's not, just, you know, culture never, just made it, people forget their way, they, they way of thinking what it was. They, they, they made people yeah. forget their way of thinking. And made them forced to believe what they thought, you know. It's conditioning, brother, brainwashing. Uh, like they condition, it, you know. That shit is funny though. Like, see when you see the globe, when you see the globe, you realize why they. You realize why, like, like. They don't want you to be the first to be be saying you you don't walk to you don't walk to a ice you don't walk to a big ass cliff in Antarctica. You know what I'm saying? They don't want they don't want nobody come shit like that. So they're gonna tell you they're gonna tell you stay on these continents and entertain yourself by going to the beach and looking at what's on the water. Get entertained by the sports and TVs while we go out here and explore what the fuck this all this shit is out here. That's crazy, man. Crazy. That's really. You know what I do believe? I, I believe the aliens come from that outer ring, man. But hell yeah, man! I I I feel you on that shit one hundred. I ain't even know if y'all. I don't even know if y'all was still on the on the call right or not. Yeah, yeah, we still here. I'm still here. I know. Uh, bro, drop says phone had to charge. So I got the picture up here. Explain to everybody that this this, this picture. Explain to everybody <clears throat> how how it works because. Because you never know, somebody could just be coming in and, and and wondering like 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 what's that up on the screen? Explain the the, the cosmos in, in the universe. Break it down for them. Cosmos is, is actually is actually the actual universal system that everything is encompassed in. So you know they talk about promoter the waters and shit. That's actually waters outside of the dome or sphere that they claim. We live on top of. We actually live inside of one, but it's called a tor. It's, it's a torch field. It's a torch field which is created naturally by magnetism and electromagnetism. Now the sun and everything like that. That's proof of a creator. When you see the sun every day, that's proof that you got some. That's a ball three hundred sixty degrees around, and it's always all angles. So, I mean, pretty much sums it up, man. Like, ain't, ain't, ain't no, ain't no motherfucking nothing. We live on the top of a... Ah, is, is Polaris. We live directly under Polaris, the North Star, the all-seeing eye. Okay, you broke it down good. Now, what's these fields right here? They're breaking down as far as the bottom part right here. <clears throat> what is it? Troidal Force? I, can, did I, I probably pronounced that wrong. 
That's a good question. I'm not sure about nothing down there, but that must be the underworld. Ancient civilizations called and, it Sheol and, and all kind of other shit. And and and, and so, I tell you what, it like just like 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 that saying go as above, so below. There's actually like stuff and everything moving around down there in the system, just like it is up here. And just like dinosaurs, it could possibly be other beings below, you know? Yeah, that's true. That's true. You know, I just want to know what the fuck CERN Switzerland is up to, because they're trying to basically a dark energy, which is that right down. You see that shit down there at the bottom? Yeah. On the you see you see to the left to the right of that picture where is where it got two three. Yeah, yeah, I see it. I think I think I think the little I think directly uh up the middle of the entire cosmos, and that's where we see that's where we see um uh, traces of borealis. Okay, okay, okay. Which is the middle point in the middle of our world. That dark energy, I think that's what CERN Switzerland is trying to get. They're trying to basically accelerate particles through that long ass tube. The, uh, they're trying to reach the, the, the middle. Lord, they're, the Lord, the Lord, they're trying to... They're they're trying, yeah, I know what you're talking about. The large hydric, uh, the large hydrogen collider, where they take particles. Yeah, and it's they a move particle in accelerator. Yeah, and they take them and it's they clash. It's going, it. and, and and it's one of the biggest. It's one of the biggest tunnels. It goes all the way from France to Switzerland in a big ass circle, to where they make them speed up so fast to where they crash and in shut into each other and make a uh, a new fucking particle. So they're trying to make that black matter and stuff like that. But, you know, I heard that doing that stuff, man, like you can open up portals to like other dimensions and stuff that we yet to know about. Because if you go outside the facility, you you know what's representing them, a statue outside the Queen of, the Queen of Shiva. And you know what the Queen of Shiva is? She's the lady that can bring creation and she's the lady that can bring death, according to the Hindu uh religion so she could do a dance for death and a dance for creation and they using that as a that's symbol. the dark yeah and they that's use the dark that. that's what and they use yeah, it as a symbol yeah, for that now i was gonna let you i was gonna let you finish going i just wanted to say that but yeah, yeah. they use that for a symbol yep i don't really know too much about tour tourist fields i like to uh you know do some more studying on that shit but pretty simple it seems pretty simple it's a middle magnetic magnetic um point and it was a lot bigger than what the hell we think it is and i think there's a reason why we can't see that shit mount maru is 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 either a fucking shit like it's a big mountain that they just it, it, it's, it's hidden but we can't see it so you know planes fly around the shit because because of the compass I think the compass keeps the planes from flying even close. You know what I'm saying, but I think that mountain is a lot bigger than what the hell they telling people, man, or 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 or, or some shit. Either that, or they don't blow the damn mountain up because they couldn't blow the damn mountain up. Because if the motherfucking sun or um, you know, fucked up and all that. But I think Mount Maru is a big a big secret that they hiding from people too, man. That could be. Now, 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 tell me a little bit more about Mountain Maru. Well, they say Mount Maru is supposed to have like seven levels of uh, and it's supposed to be like gods on each level. I don't know how many of them. It's supposed to be different beings on each level to govern each realm. So, them tourist fields, to be honest, when we, when we Creators probably at the top at the top of Mount Maru. See that shit. 
That shit crazy right there, though. Decoy, yeah. What, what, Maroon. Where is it located? And shit too. Like they, they, this is Mount Maru. And where they get when really metal. That's, that's wild. That's the, that's the globe theory right there. They did as live because they basically saying to the middle of the earth, we're going to put it in the middle of the, of the globe and tell them it's right here when it's really in the North Pole, but they can't see it from wanting to uh it'll stop people from wanting to go to the north pole like so they had no land mass basically right yeah now and if you believable. watched it if you watch a show called it's a marvel it's a marvel tv series called the fist of the iron fist or some shit like that and the storyline i've been meaning to watch it yeah the storyline is basically a guy who 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 is a rich kid and his parents died in a car crash, plane crash that he was actually in, and they was flying over Asia or something like that, and a plane crashed in the Himalayas, or it crashed near. It crashed near. I think it's around this area somewhere. Is around. Uh, it crashed in the mountain. It was being being cared for in the temple by the monks, now, to a place that only appears every seven or 11 years or something like that it's a yeah. place it's a natural actual land that's only visible and accessible every seven to 11 years well well kind of like how, in the how, how they got wakanda high and behind a mountain like it's like you can go through the mountain right mountain, a hologram up yeah to hide the the city yeah that's yeah crazy. it's something like it's something along them lines but it's it's the weather patterns for seven years a pathway every seven or 11 years is a pathway that's that's now uh travelable or accessible to get to where you gotta go and i guess they took him to this place bro and they call it shambhala or something like that and then when i did my research on this place shambhala man it, it, they got all these ancient texts and shit about this place and it's the same shit that they're talking about in the marvel series so i'm like i'm like damn what if this shit is real and it ain't they, they telling it to America's a fairy tale, but the place really do exist. What if I really, what if I really went and talked to a monk that, that the place really is real? You know what I'm saying? But what's the chance of an American actually doing that? It's slim to none. So they have programmed us to think all of this shit is fake and it's probably really real. And we yeah. got nowhere, no proof of knowing it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because even the people from the regions that's Americans don't don't ain't gonna believe it. Cause they brainwashed too. Hell yeah, I feel you on that. I feel you on that. But 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 yo, it's it's a lot of places. Why you think people talk about ancient cities they can't never find? So when you when when you're looking at stuff like like Iron Fist and and Black Panther, are there really land masses of of continents and countries that we can't see because certain times of of the year and certain times of that decade they're not visible but but if you go out there you could possibly find them it's, it's just like the myth of atlantis and you know the story behind the bermuda triangle i heard Tell me about it, man. Okay, so during slavery, right? All these slaves yeah. were transported from Africa all over, right? Yeah. And um you had a Bermuda Triangle. So there's one thought that coming to the Caribbeans and all that, that the Bermuda Triangle was one of the, the areas, right? And and this is a fucking big ass area. It, 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 it splits from Hell Florida, yeah. to Puerto Rico, and all the way back to Florida. Now they saying this was one of the areas where slaves jumped off the ship or slaves was killed, and I could believe that because you're just coming into the port. You know, we know they died at sea, but 
a lot of them probably died here and 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 then they say that's the spirits and the souls of, of the ones that died down there you know the ancestors let me show oh. you how let me show you the corruption in the education program because if you go back and you look at the damn pictures of Bermuda Triangle, they got two different goddamn perimeters. They got two totals of what the Bermuda Triangle is. Because they don't want you to pinpoint where the real bad shit is happening around there. They don't want you to be able to know exactly where people disappear at. Yeah. They don't want you to be able to say, oh shit, this is exactly where they fuck up at. So I'm about to turn around and go tell everybody. They don't want that to happen. So they tell you the perimeter, the perimeter is a lot bigger than what it really is shit happen i bet i bet i guarantee you it's not really that big of a perimeter zone and when it happens <laughs> it, you're in the water so you can't change direction now now okay so, so it's not that big of an area okay now let's just say right here in, in the in the center of it all i think yep. i think a lot of shit doesn't happen there in that center part i'm not gonna necessarily see these outside yep. edges but that center part yeah because even even if you look at it last year with all the hurricanes, they all came right here through this area. They all came. I'm through trying this to figure area. out. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out where it first came about, though. Where did that term Bermuda Triangle first come about? Because uh, back during the slaves' time, what gave birth to that? Country, what gave birth to that? Country, it was coming off, I guess. Bermuda and uh coming off the coast of Bermuda, ships would disappear and all the crazy things, and people couldn't like figure out what the hell going on. But they noticed in that one spot of the ocean, in that one spot, people kept getting missing. So if you ask me, and I think about it, I'll say maybe people got misnavigated or something. But they say even electronics. So that lets you know there's a electromagnetic force or something. Or some sort going on right there hey, in the area. Yep. All right. So now what I what I want you to do now, bro, is pull up a flat earth map and show me where the Bermuda Triangle is on the flat earth map. All right. Let's pop this one up. Okay, so it would have to be. It would have to be right here in this area. Now, let me zoom in on that area a little bit more. Let me zoom in on that area. Show me an older flat earth map. Okay, okay. I'm I trying to pinpoint something because I think. I think I guarantee you an ancient, uh, ancient, uh, ancient flat Earth map with the, you know, when they got all those little, little different um, icons on them and shit. This one right here. You want to look at this one? Uh, no, nah, not that one. I've seen that one though before. Okay, how about the? Uh... Uh... You see that one? Let me see this one right here. Right, right. Let me see that. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The seventh one. Yeah. Okay. This one right here. Okay. Now, the Bermuda Triangle on this map. What well, you see? You see? You see my uh little magnifying glass? Yeah, I see it. It will be right here in this area. Now we're gonna zoom in on that area. And, and if you look at this map, look how 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 short South America look. And they tell you it's, it's way bigger than that, but that's that's just one thing to look at right there, man. The shape of the continents are all off on all maps. You gotta know which map you're looking at. So it will be right here in this area, right here. You see right here where all these islands are right here? It would be right yep. here. That's where it would be. Now, seeing what that would be. Now, so that's, that's, already, showing us. that's that, that, already showing us that there were islands. Yeah, that was right there. 
that 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 lets us know that they already knew them islands existed. Yeah. All right. Uh, what year was that map made? Yeah. I can't see the year. Oh man. It might be written in um Greek or something. Yeah. Let me go to the actual page. Or Latin, more so. It might be written in Latin or something. But but now look at this. Speaking of that, look at this. You see how 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 it looks so different and how the map evolved over time. Let me show you something. Go back all the way up, all the way up. That's a different perspective. That's a different map. That's not a map of the entire one, the entire cosmos. Let this me, one right here. Go back to the uh no nah, the other one. This one. I screwed up no reason. This is Hey, was it this one? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear nah, me? Nah, go. Ahead. You had on there. Which one? Can this you one? hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me? This one? No, nah, not that one. This one. This one right here? No. Nope, not that one. The one where you said you said you see how how it's changed oh, right over here, so right much here, time. Right here, right here. yeah, I, I'll feed you with it. One, yeah, that one right there. That right there. In the corners, they got different islands off in the corners. Yeah, it is that's not that's not a map. That's a map of the North Pole. This map right here. To the left, to the left, you see that green right there. Yeah, that's Canada. That's Canada. Okay, okay. To the right, uh, that top right over there, that's Asia. Yeah. And Russia and all of that. And down there, that's that's Europe and that's England and Russia. And then you got Iceland right there. And then you got North, you got North, you got America right there. Yep. That's that's what you're looking at now, right there, in the middle of that map, you got Mount Maru and you got four other countries. You see it. On on this map that actually show it's a uh you see that you see what they show in the middle of that map? Look at that. You can say it's a temple or yep, mountain top. You see this mountain right here? In the water, you see, you see the mountain at the top in the middle of the water? Yeah. That's proof that somebody is talking about. Mm -hmm. They ain't just drawing shit. They put a mountain there for a reason. Yeah, because they seen they that shit. They knew a mountain they was there. Seen yeah, that they shit. Because they, if they seen didn't that see it, it, they, they seen water, it. So they, they back it out. How uh, that made? Yeah, yeah, I feel you that they seen that. And see, they didn't really understand the aspect of of North America then, because you see the whole picture of that Asia, Africa, they didn't know what it was. Because if you look at this map, they didn't know they didn't have no name for Africa. I, I'm assuming this whole area right here was Africa. And, no, and, that's not and, Africa. And, what I'm showing you is that's not the entire world. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah. that's just a that's just a magnified map of the north pole section of the cosmos that's a that's a azimuthal um perspective on the yeah
no, 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 look at this old map. Now, now this one right here. Now, if you look at this one, right? Yes. You can yeah. See, right now, you can, the you circle can is a lot wider. Yeah. In the perspective, far away now than that other map. Yeah. Because Tebbin has been discovered. Yep. We have reached the ice wall, and that's all we know right now. Yep. This moon. It, this lets you know right now that when there is not made, that's yep. when everybody, that's when the world knows everything is today. As far as where shit is, now, that's not to say in our world that we know about that they just haven't put on. Because there's probably islands and the kind of know about because they don't want us to know about this shit. Know about our whatever longitude and latitude. We not gonna take our boats the fuck out there to look for no damn island out there. Yeah. So this is basically the uh, aerial perspective of the of, of the map of, of the world. Like if you flying and you looking down on the map from the from the middle point, you looking down on the entire world. That's what it looked like. Been discovered at that time with boats. Now when they discovered that shit, they found with boats. Now, um, now be this mindful of that. Oh, with airplanes the and motherfucking all in all countries. Yeah, all that. You know, so imagine what the hell they really find planes and rockets. And the damn show ain't no damn, the damn show ain't no endless motherfucking vacuum. In them. Ain't nothing like that. That's some fake ass shit. They, they had to put the vacuum in there because they had causes of something to spin. They, they're they going to tell you the vacuum is what in the shit. That's some bullshit. Yeah. Some fucking bullshit. But that's 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 how that's how that's how it is. You see what I'm saying though? Hell yeah. So when you see that mountain, you when you see that when you see, bruh, that had Mount Maru in the middle with the old with the yellow continents around it, bruh. That's really what the North Pole show it to us. It's on top of a ball with a big ass white spot. And that's a re there's a reason for that. There's a whole motherfucking reason for that. They don't want you to explore the North Pole because shit, for all we know, it might be a, it might, excuse me, inner ice wall. If you understand an inner ice wall. Yeah. Because there's other where, where where we got to travel through that ice wall just to get to the little, well, no. the, the least came from. Because the land where the pygmies came from was right, right, was at Mount Maru's feet. Now, now, now tell the people what the pygmy is. Pygmies people that they find. And I say many because they're short in stature. They're short people. So, um, and, uh, and skeleton, skeletal bones from Pygmies from for that dating far, far, far before any any and they, other. And they found some from. bones in Canada. Other pygmies. Yeah. Exactly. That tell they you where they come from. They came they, from the middle. They came they from the middle. You, they tell you these things used to hunt wild boars, and these are not like the pigs and hogs. We know wild boars. They got more fur on them, and they got like them 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 long ivory tusks that where where where, where they can just. Grabby with lock jaw. They got them long, spiky teeth, you know, and and and, and they're yeah, little. Yeah, So, yeah, yeah, bro, for real. Like, 
I'm and, saying, and, 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 and they come from the middle. But they had their own little uh medical beliefs as far as like killing and all that stuff with their little culture of civilization they had back then, just as any other civilization had during the era. Yeah. <laughs> yep. See, I believe all those islands, <coughs> I believe those are more than just um, different islands. I think each one of those islands around Mount Maru's feet stand for each set, each, each, each different element, all the different elements. And I think all the races and, and people that were created on each island were of, 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 of the elements. Yeah. Of the actual natural elements of that of that world. I think that's what it, that's where that's where creation started. That's where the Garden of Eden is. That's where all of that is. I believe that's what that's exactly what it's about. The Bible, I think, is a summarization of all the ancient texts dating before that and basically giving a perspective of what the real situation is, but in their own words and how they want to put it and how and they twist on it and yeah. how they want to you to that realization that's what i think the bible is and that's why it's so important it's not about whether or not you believe if jesus walked in water it's about do you believe that there was a message that that was important that, that somebody had to write it out on a book and, and use that many words and pass it down between and that it, many generations it's not, it's, it's not even just christianity it's, it's all all of them came back to a book for knowledge besides the elders Yep, because the knowledge isn't isn't just in the context of the book. The knowledge is in the book itself. The fact that the book exists, the fact that the author wrote the book, the fact that on the date the author wrote the book, why did the author write the book? All of those are all of that's evidential proof of 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 what you can gain from, you know, old old ancient artifacts. And that and that and that's true. Because most of the artifacts now are in museums and, and, and spots that are are not their native area, you know, and and and, Bro, you take know, them and use them. Do you as, know if you stole certain artifacts that they will actually have you murdered? Yeah. Like there are place there are people that work for all of those all of those Catholics and people who holding down all this sacred in, uh, information from people that actually, if you actually was smart enough to rob them and steal something that was that important to them, they will have you murdered. It's yeah. not about taking you to jail. You stole from the Vatican. No, they, no, they don't have you murdered and retrieve that shit. They're going to yeah. kill you first and retrieve that shit. Like, yeah. That shit is serious, man. That's some serious shit. Like that's just like, like that's what some real serious that shit. Like that one boy that that went over to Russia, and all that. Say he hacked all this stuff and he moved over there to Russia. What what's his name? Uh, mm -hmm. dude Snowden. They they show you you know too yep. much, man. They they gonna try to get you. Yep. Now, what if the Bible is really, really, <clears throat> really, really what they say it is—a prophetic text written by spirits? If it, what if it really is and what if it really did happen like what if it's just a story that happened along around the uh north pole what if that's all it is what if it actually came from people who came from the north pole yeah what if it's a story what if it's the actual story on why we actually populate in these countries today the, and, and what if it's the actual story on what if it's the actual story and prophecy on us being exiled or our ancestors being exiled from from the north pole yeah and, what if that's really what if what what the bible is for like what if we don't really live on earth we just call it earth because where we came from was called earth what if the middle what if the north pole is really earth you know what i'm saying at the foot of mount maru what if that's really earth and we just came out here and we just called it earth because we ain't had nothing else to call it and I feel because we got exiled probably for doing some corrupt shit or our ancestors did or you know what I'm saying and then the flood took place well you know and the pygmies wouldn't be and wouldn't be um the pygmies wouldn't be or the people that's let's say them countries that's at the foot of Mount Maru was still there they wouldn't be affected in the flood 
they wouldn't be affected in the flood because because around that area they got they got all of these drainage systems where they got these big ass whirlpools. So whirlpools are only there when when currents collide, when two two op opposing currents collide underwater, and they create a, a, a tornado effect, and they keep the speeds and, and force of which they collide, collided determines whether or not a, a, a whirlpool and a, and, a, and a drainage system takes place around that area. So that would that would keep the waters and everything okay around that area. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So what if that's what if that's really what the fuck really happened, man? And basic instruction before leaving Earth is 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 real. Like what it is. And what if the Quran is basically a Another the other the other people who also got exiled and they story on, on they story on after they got kicked out. You know what I'm saying? They're a reminder of where they came from. And what if the um the Buddhism and all that, what if that's the story of where a reminder of where they came from? The palace that Buddha lived in was really on one of them islands at the foot of Mount Maru. Mm -hmm. And what's and, and, and according to the dictionary. What is the definition of Earth? The substance of an island surface or soil. Yep. Or you can use it as a verb. Cover the root and lower the stem of a plant with the head up. So, 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 when, so when you think about it, when, 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 when you refer referring to Earth, you, you're talking about a landmass, a surface, soil, not a whole planet. But if you look at it. Ever since Greek mythology and all that shit came around, they started naming planets after ancient gods and stuff like Mars is the god of war in uh, some uh, mythology. So so they took them names and ran with it and they found this planet and they named it Earth. Yep. <coughs> yep. <coughs> but you know what? Because that kind of, that kind of goes back to like the zodiacs and the symbolism of each name and word. It's just like Earth. Yeah. Earth is a substance of land slash soil. So basically, yeah. you walk outside anything you stand on. That's that's Earth. That that's the definition of Earth right there. Not a giant ball in space. Yeah. Yep. That's true shit. <clears throat> so like when I seen that map, I was like, yo, they had that map all this time. Ain't no telling what other maps they got out there. And they're just trying to put the pieces together to figure out which map goes to where. Yeah. This. If maps if maps used to get you killed back then, who the hell them to make a fake sell them unless they threaten unless they buy piracy you see what i'm saying so yeah. back in them days it was really assassin's creed black black flag bro that's really what was going on back in them days so and, like, and you, you know, get a killed lot of for a map misleading each other too man they was misleading each other to believe them to believe lies and deception and all that because you got to realize yep. that's middle ages man like like see like, like how we travel on airplanes and all that stuff today, that's what ships was back then. They were the yeah. trains. They were the trains. Yeah, I'm right. They were the airplanes. They they were all that. You know? Yeah. We did we we didn't right, discover we, we didn't discover Look horses like. until we came out of Spain and, and came out of South America where the Mexicans introduced horses to the cowboys and cows. And, and, and in Spain, they were in Spain, and you and in Africa, you had zebras, and 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 in and in the Middle East, you had camels. Russia, you had certain yep. types of horses. So so you see, it, it, it was a form of transportation, but this form of transportation impacted the world just as much as an airplane did, as far as the import yep. and export of slaves and any yep. other thing. Because we can't look at the horse and understand why it's so important to the damn natural order of things. That's why we're not smart enough to realize why it's so important that a horse exists in his natural state, being real transportation and treated like shit.
That's what you that's what riding my, any other animal like that. You weren't riding any other animal like that. Exactly, the man. Horse, the horse was that crab all that type of shit. Was the car and the camel? We can't leave the camel out. And the only I mean, reason why the horse don't kick kick motherfuckers off of it is because shit. Well, it's not because I'm made for this shit. It's because goddamn it, they got a natural love for humans. That's yeah. what we need to look at. These animals got a natural love for humans. They don't really. They, you if you piss a, it's hard to piss a horse off, bro. It's, it's, it's like doing this. Try, try, try to ride a female <clears throat> tiger or a female hippopotamus and then try to ride a, 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 a female horse and see which one you could probably get on the fastest. And I guarantee you that fucking hippopotamus or that fucking uh, tiger or lion yep. is going to try to eat your ass. And see, another thing people yep. don't know with certain animals, animals fuck with us, but you got animals that eat meat like, I was looking at this video the other day. Like, if you just got done eating the chili dog and you still got the sauce and all that on your hands and fingers and mouth, don't go towards an animal zoo cage. Because, I don't know, I seen the wildest animal zoo cage the other day that the animals could actually reach over. And they, they thought the animals were so brainwashed in captivity that they wouldn't try to attack a woman that just ate a chili dog that goes to show just what happened to uh what, what's that gorilla named karamba <laughs> where, where took the little boy and ran with it you know these these animals they look at captivity like prison just as like as we look at prison like prison you yep. know they look at that you know that, what they don't like, fuck with us bro like, like a form of captivity we fucked up we have fucked up so in the national reserves as and a, all that yeah. stuff, that's that's nothing but captivity. Even how they making tilapia now. And I, ain't Bro, gonna, even, I, I eat tilapia. Even how, good even, as hell. even how they colonize in Africa and create and making they wild they, their natural um habitats look keep they 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 allow them to stay natural, but they're they still being spied upon, manipulated it's this crazy. that way. It's prison. The, it's prison. The animals ain't stupid. The animals know shit that they can. They just they just ain't telling us because we don't know how to fucking talk to them. They know what the fuck's going on just like we do. Yeah. And they gotta be smarter than us because they ain't got YouTube and shit. They ain't got fucking computers to communicate with each other. But they know how to communicate with each other because they've been around each other thousands of years, just like the the human race. Even though we got different branches of the human race, we've been around for years. You know. And just like we communicate with each other, you don't think they do? We all know bees communicate with other bees and other insects to know which ones are, are harmful, which ones are friendly, which flowers to go to. So you don't think these animals know the same thing about that if they're in certain situations engaging with another animal? Hell yeah. They know which animal to approach, which animal not to approach. That's why they call the, the, the lion the king of the jungle and the elephant the lord of the jungle. You know not to go on that elephant's path when it's in a rage. Because that elephant crushed just about damn near anything. And if you know that lion is laying there, don't mess with that male lion. He's a he's a, he's the alpha male of that herd of pride going on right now. You you know not to mess with it. But when you mess with that lion for so long, that lion gonna get up and it's gonna strike back. But yep. but that just goes to show, like 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 the structure and the system, it goes all the way from plants, insects, to animals, to to us. It's it's all a big ass circle, like you said earlier. Yeah, yeah, bro, the circle of life, like the Lion King says. <clears throat> like you know, it's a lot of it's a lot of essence that we need to we need to really 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 dig deep into uh, movies and and influential uh and see i i the, the, when you say that the I, history yeah and natural nature that we that we are exposed to today and now that and nowadays what i mean is so like when the lion king came out it hit everybody everybody, everybody felt emotionally attached to it yeah they felt they and, felt and one mind you, they're remaking the Lion King 
just like they did Black Panther, yeah. all black cast. So you already know a black movie gonna do good, even though they yeah. But you gotta realize something: the deception has no limit on color. We yeah. can't say that the black people are the heroes, or the white people are the heroes, or the oh, Asian no, people no, are no, the no. heroes. Saying it is that if nah, it's not, if it's not, if form of the essence of the first movie, the fact of a black all black cast is point. It don't even matter because yeah. if they if they didn't if they if they didn't do exactly what the first movie did. Which was which was bring people together and, and unite people to really realize that you know we living on this earth just like these animals is we gotta we gotta take in consideration of this shit and we gotta change a lot of things that we out here and, and to thing, do. The animals got their own society just like us. So why tear down their natural societies and way of living and putting them in captivity to thinking they're in the natural society when in all actuality they're not. So they're trying to put together in their head what's really going on. Because they believe that they believe that because this world is not built for us to have all this shit that we have, man. And we don't we don't fuck a lot of shit up along the, the food chain, the fucking chain of na nature, the process of nature, however you want to put it. We don't fucked up a lot of shit just to get to work as humans and understanding life. And, and, and being able to experiment and do things that we are doing today, we've 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 sacrificed a lot of shit to get there. And the animal kingdom, in the process of that, we don't know if they understand, give a fuck, or if they're gonna respond negative to our actions or not. So the best thing for the government to do is to say, you know what, I can't afford to have to be responding to every time a, a lion turns on a damn a pedestrian. So I need to control where the lions at. I don't need the lions getting hungry for this meat. We've been eating. We've been eating animals over here. So the lions is getting hungry. It's turning and, and, and over you know, a different side of the lions. They they when when, yeah. when when an animal race is dying off, they call it an endangered species. But when when a black people, uh, when well, not black people, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say that. But when when humans and everybody die off, they call it genocide. So. So basically, it's the same. It's the same thing, just in a different way, as far as a different yeah. species of earth. <laughs> yeah, genocide is the same thing as that. Yeah, because if the animals was talking to the to another animal that's like itself, it'd be like, "This is genocide. They're killing all of us." Yeah. Right. Exactly. But from our perspective, we we being the per people who did it, we like, oh, they're endangered now. They're endangered species. See, that's the thing, man. You know, <clears throat> what man, where man fucked up at is they took they took the wrong pill, man. And now it's just it's just the process of nature that's trying to correct shit. Yeah. And at this point, the process of nature now is not is, is is through everything of nature, including us, which which, which is we, we are of nature. Humans are of nature. So anything that, na that nature is responding to, we gonna respond to. Yeah. So whether it's subconsciously, whether we want to or not, we gonna respond to it because we because are of nature, that. just like the just like the plants, just it's, like the it's, animals it's, we out here with, just like all of that shit. So, it, so it, like it's, it's like Spider Man. You know, Spider Man. Bro, it's just like you know how Spider Man says he get that spider sense, like he knows you, when something yeah. about to happen, or he knows yeah. something about to if go you, wrong. It, bro, bro, I'm telling you, dog, look, look. If you watch TV long enough with your dog, and your dog watch TV with you long enough, your dog gonna start watching what he's looking at. Your dog gonna start giving emotional responses to what he's watching on TV. Your dog, and I believe that. Because, so because you, even with you know, dogs, like, they got an emotional bond with their masters. And being that you have a dog mm -hmm. as a pet, that dog looks at you like an extended member of the family and the leader of the pet. Yeah. So anyway, it can't communicate going, with us. It can't communicate with us. But it got two eyes like us. It got a nose like us. It's equipped like us. And it's, it's dog, nations like out here that's, that's killing got, those. Got emotions. You, it's you, nations you out here killing dog dogs and angry, eating. sad, or happy because they wag their tail, they growl, and all that. Like, like they're speaking to, yep. you, but in in a different sense, not 
not through our language, but through their language. Yep. About that, man. Like, and, and why do why do we believe that you know Mother Nature ain't gonna respond in that way? Because what we don't, what we fail to realize is Mother Nature is the nature of all beings. If we all come from Mother Nature, and Mother Nature is Mother Nature, that means we are all part of the Mother's nature. So therefore, if we respond negative to Mother Nature, and Mother Nature is going to respond positive and negative to us. Why? Because she has to repair herself, but she's going to yeah. When you take medicine, you gotta you got when you take medicine nowadays, what they do is they give you something that's gonna fight the bacteria that you're fighting, but it may also have it may also have some shit that may get damaged inside your body at the same time from the medicine. <clears throat> So when you when you be when you respond, when you do a negative action in, in Mother Nature, Mother Nature responds. And that's that's just what it is. And that's the process and, of and all what, things. And what they call that karma. That's what they that's, call that's, that's why they that's why what goes karma. around. That's karma. why they say karma exists, because they, they that's proof of that that happening. People have too many experiences that, like that happen. You pollute the earth more, the more toxic the earth becomes. But if you make the or more the earth more cleaner. The cleaner the earth will become, depending on your actions, yep. you get consequences. Yep, I think I think it, I think it goes so far down to to to. I think humans, their brains are, are able to do way more than what we understand. I think there's fields that we can create with our mind. We haven't figured out how to work that part of our brain yet. You know, like that <laughs> I movie. Think we, I that think movie. I think we already do. And I think all. we already do. We just don't understand it to even yeah. realize what we're doing. I think in some, how, some, how to some bring aspects, in some situations, in some situations, there are cases where, you know what I'm saying, I think people can create those type of those type of um, fields with the mind. Well, it's kind of like manifestation or, or, or when you're meditating. Because they say if you really know how to meditate and you meditate, it feels like your soul is leaving your body and you could like actually see everything, you know, just like lucid dreaming, like all that stuff is real. It's all one and the same. And, and, and it opens up your eyes to yeah. a different. Uh, yeah, so perceive, what I, for, I have forgot what I was going to say, man, for a minute. I had to really think about what the hell I was going to say, but I was going to say, like, for example garden in a backyard and the energy that that was casted from the from the house you know what i'm saying the energy from the mind of the owner of the garden you know what i'm saying the mind was the the, the energy was maybe not so attentive they paid no mind to the garden they just planted the seed and just watered it every now and then yeah i believe it, i believe the attention that you give the things you create actually feeds those things really if you understand what i mean like nikola tesla said this he said when i build when i build anything he said when i work i don't really start working i don't really start working unless i got everything completed in his in, in my mind so he said he said basically he don't build a car by trying to build a car he basically builds the car in his mind every piece piece by piece in his mind first and then he builds the final product after he got it all solid and figured out he makes improvements off of it again to make everything fixed properly and work properly he'll do it all in his mind first so that that that's just proof that <clears throat> if we think about certain things feeding that manifestation that we're creating so if we if we if we create a garden, if we grow a garden and we want to we want to grow the, the best fruit possible, our attention is always on, on, on the garden or we giving positive energy to the garden. I believe the garden is going to produce um, a good fruit, good vegetables, good crop. I think I think that I think that's really going to play a play a role in nature. But 
now they're trying to reduce that response from nature that pe that, that people can gain from nature, which is what I described. They're trying to stop that by shit over Mother Nature. You know what I'm saying? So they're controlling Mother Nature. But Basically. but my, but but if you look at it, Mother Nature can't be. There's controlled. a reason why trees don't grow as high Mother as they Nature used to. They got their own force, man. Mother it's Nature the got her own trees force. don't. Bro, that's the reason why trees don't grow as high as they used to. Tell me why. Man, I just I that's that's why I feel. I feel like the reason why is because they 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 polluting the motherfucking soil. Yeah. That's even with community. They polluting people's head, they polluting the soil, they just polluting. They cutting down. Everything. They cutting down, and, and on top of that, they cutting down these motherfucking big ass trees. And you know what I think earthquakes is? What? When <laughs> I think earthquakes is when 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 certain trees, certain big ass tree roots is growing. Oh, okay. like big yeah, ass okay. tree roots, yeah. and it gets everything I think off. It's some, I think it's some it's ancient forest, big man. ass tree roots growing. You know what I'm saying? When they when it when it, when they grow when they grow or stretch out the land, it changes a little bit. Yeah. The land on, on the surface changes a little bit. That's what I think it is. I think that's where earthquakes are. Because I think because on the on the coast of California, if you really do, if you really look at the coast of California, it got some of the tallest trees in America in California. Yeah. They got some of the tallest trees in America you know, around uh, Northern California and shit. And you know what I'm saying? So uh, it's not it's not even it's not even out of the question to not believe if the damn you know what I'm saying, huge ass trees that they talk about in the ancient just over there too. It's, yeah. it's beyond question now because I can see how they, they would they would possibly make those trees shorter for a reason. I don't know. And looking at where California is, is it could possibly have a lot to do with who was there. Around California, discover California. Yeah. Oh, bro, this panel being good, man. Yo, yo, I really enjoy you coming in, man. Yo, speaking your piece, brother. You did your thing like you always do, Trigger. You, you even did your thing in the last one, man. I really appreciate you, man. And and, and hey, we man, no and, doubt, man. And it's and always we, a pleasure and to and drop, and dude. And we, stop, and we, stop, we stop by. Going. We go, yeah, we go with you. Going. Hey, you say, hey, what you say? I said, I, I said, I said, after this video, we still gonna keep it going with more videos. Like, I, I appreciate you, bro. We're gonna keep doing this, man. I'm about to go get me a bite to eat, man. And uh, thank, thank you for coming in, bro. And we're we gonna do this again, bro. This ain't the last time. And hopefully, we can get a bunch of people right. in here to, to, to hear their opinion on things and all that. And they true for knowledge, and, and we may be able to help them out, man. Uh, yeah, man. Hey, all I'm trying to do is just build red knowledge, bro, because if we yeah. other motherfuckers can hear it, then hopefully they build it on their shit, too. If they got some shit yeah. they thinking about, yeah. hopefully they can get some points and probably build on their shit or, or, or come up to a conclusion on some shit that we don't know about. And, and, you know, and, they can come and, up here and voice their damn opinion on certain shit, too, because that's what that's that's how like it ain't all about one person doing everything like like yeah. everybody got got they got to play their part and that everybody goes back to astrology it. that goes back to astrology we yeah. all different is a reason it's a reason for that it's a code and, for us to, and, for us to, and we for us to even people. come to the truth for the game we got to come together so yeah and, that, and 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 that's what it's about we want to hear their peace we want to hear their truth we 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 want to engage. We want people to 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 spread their message and teach to what regular people that don't know that's that's blind to all this stuff. We we want to teach yeah. them and school them on some knowledge, and and, and we're gonna continue to do that. And to next time, you already know, brother. Yeah, uh, yeah, man. It was always good, man. Always good to stop by, man, and build with you, bro. Real talk, man. But look, like, man, we can definitely do this again. All right. Y'all already know, man. I'm going to hit you up, everybody. 
Thank y'all for watching. If y'all enjoyed this video, make sure y'all subscribe to Trigger the Soldier and make sure y'all subscribe to Knowledge Uprising. Until next time, thank y'all for watching.